So the reason why we really look at meltdown in the fall, or, or even in the spring actually, but in the fall we're looking at it for residue degradation, but probably bigger than that is something that we identified in our soil test as a big um, lead in yield, which is water extract organic carbon. What that is is the broken down portions of carbon from our organic matter in our soil. We break that down through microbes, and then you've got a smaller portion of carbon, which is your water extract organic carbon. What that does is drives the entire system and how efficient that soil is at releasing nutrients to the plant. Because again, water extract organic carbon is the food source for all the microbes. We understand if we can keep our microbes busy, what they're gonna do is, is again, hand feed our, or spoon feed our crops the nutrition that that crop needs. Um, so the goal with a product like uh, Meltdown is to break down that organic matter and, and really break that down in a way that we can solubilize more of that carbon into the water extract organic form because we understand the benefits of that late season when that plant is trying to take up nutrients. We can, we can again solubilize some of the nutrients and put it in the form that that plant recognizes as plant food if we have the biological activity. And again, biological activity can't happen if we don't have a food source, right? So we're, we're using Meltdown to not only manage residue, but in reality it's to break free some of the organic nutrients within that residue and to supply our microbes food to spoon feed our crops.